What's going on guys, Munition aka Aaron aka Note here. Got a new video for you today, overviewing these Samapo Gear 3D DCU combat pants I just got in about, I want to say five days ago. Um, so this is going to be a quick overview of them. Now these are the Car Precision Cut style. If you're familiar with Samapo Gear, you obviously know this. Uh, I believe these run for, actually I would say these set me back about 130 after shipping and these are currently on sale for $94 I think. Um, now starting with the knee pockets, the knee pockets padding, uh, these are the Cry Precision Air Flexes. They fit in nice and perfectly, no problems there. Now the difference between the Samapo Gear style uh, pockets and the actual Cry Precision as well as USGI pockets is they're not full line velcro on the inside. I believe there is some velcro uh, spread throughout, um, but it's not a big deal because the, the, the air flexes stay in there fine. They don't show any signs of coming out. Uh, I do want to note I have yet to actually run these in a game. I should be here soon in a few weeks so I can give a updated report then. Now I wanted to compare these to regular uh, surplus military BDU style pants. These are medium regular. They're a bit shorter than the Samako gears, which are 32R if I didn't already mention. Uh, they're about an inch shorter and the Samapos were a bit longer than I expected, but that's okay because they have the Velcro lining right here so you can cuff them at the end. Now, let's see. Comparing these two side by side, uh, I don't know how well the camera picks this up, but starting with the spotted browns, the spotted browns on the surplus pants are a bit brighter and then the spread out greens and browns throughout the entire pant that make it up are a bit darker. That means the Samapos themselves are a bit lighter. Now this isn't a problem if you're not running a regular surplus BDU shirt. Um, I got another piece of clothing I wanted to compare it to. This is the Kratos Gear Combat Shirt. I have the arms cuffed up right now, so you can't really uh, see all that well. Um, now putting this over it, I don't know, again, how well the camera picks this up. The spotted browns on the shirt, as well as on the Smako Gear pants, uh, they're actually pretty true to color, but the uh, spread out browns and greens are a bit darker on the shirt. So if you mix and match, it wouldn't be too big of a deal outside. Uh, inside it might be a little bit noticeable, but I believe if you wash these after a while, they'll start to fade, of course. All right guys, so this is what it's gonna look like in more natural lighting. Uh, this is my ABS, so I figured I'd put it on for the video. Contrast what it all looks like put together. Uh, if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, feel free to ask me below, and I'll get back to you guys after. Thanks for watching. Thank you.